Hey, how you doing? This is your forklift evangelist coming to you with the thought of the day. You know, the other day, uh, my wife and I were driving uh, through, a, through an area kind of out in the country, and um, there was a river on our right, and there were all these trees and rocks and, and mountains, and it was so green and so beautiful, and, and we had this opportunity to witness God's creation um, just during this drive. And I began to think about, it wasn't very long ago that I had gone up, gone up that same road and and the, the trees had no leaves on them. And, uh, and although it was still uh, nice to see the river, it just wasn't the same. There just wasn't the life that was around. Um, you know, there were hardly any people then, but this time there were people that you could see that were floating down a river or, um, or were out having a good time just enjoying the weather. And it was so wonderful to see how God, how God works. You know, our lives are a lot like that. I mean, we have seasons in our lives. Sometimes our lives are in the dead of winter, when everything around us just seems dead and, and there's no life to us and there's no life around us. But then, all of a sudden, God breathes within us His breath. And we are suddenly um, experience new life. God wants to take our heart, our winter barren heart, and to change it, and to make it grow, and to make it beautiful. Just as those trees were in this in a period of, of dormant, there was growth that was taking place, and we experience that whenever we see the leaves now on the trees, and we see the flowers budding, and, and the birds nesting. We're able to see the beauty of God's creation and how He's constantly making things new. And He wants to do that in our lives as well, in your life and in my life. He wants to make us new, to, to change us, to completely rearrange us. You know, yesterday I had the opportunity, a blessed opportunity, to baptize my son. Uh, we had been studying for, for a few months now, and, and um, he's constantly asking about uh, giving his life to God and how he wanted to do that and and it was so amazing to see that, that this young boy is growing and he's changing and there's a change that takes place and in all of our lives whenever we give our lives fully to Christ there's this change that takes place we are now new I'm not just some upgraded version I'm not just Daniel 2.0 all of a sudden I'm a changed completely new person. God is making all things new. He wants to make us new. He wants to take the dead, dormant lives that we have and change them and make us green and grow and, and growing in Him. Where He is the sun and the rain that provides all that we need for life and for godliness. Where we're constantly growing in His image and becoming more and more like Him. So hey, I want to encourage you today to, uh, to allow Christ to work in your life that you may grow, that you may change. I don't know, maybe you're at a stalemate in your life. Maybe you're at this point where things are just kind of seem dying or, or they seem dead. Spend some time praying and studying and focusing and surround yourself with people that can help you learn to live again. And it's only found in Christ. After all, He said He is the way, the truth, and the life. You want to experience real life, a new life? It's only found in Jesus Christ. That's your forklift evangelist thought for today. Have a great one.